There was a farmer named William in a village. He was rich, but very lazy too. He depended upon his servants for all his work. He neither visited his fields nor went to cow shed. He did not even look after his own house. In fact, William used to avoid all work due to laziness. Consequently, the production of his crops decreased. Milk production was also affected badly. Even his house was also not maintained properly. He was quite indifferent towards all his affairs. He always put the responsibility of his failure on others. One day his friend Tony came to him. William told his friend, I am not as rich as I was before. I am facing loss in everything. What should I do now? Tony knew that his friend was lazy and was quite aware of his laziness. So, he said to him, I advise you to have a view of the white swan. William said, How can I have the view of the swan? His friend said, I do not know how they can be seen. But it is certain that they come early in the morning before sunrise. William said, Then I will try to have a view of the swan. Next day, William got up early in the morning and went straight to the barn. Anne was surprised to see that someone was stealing Paddy from his field. William caught him red-handed but forgave him. When the thief made the assurance of not stealing anything again from his field, Thereafter, he went to the cow shed. He saw that his servant was stealing milk and pouring it his wife's pot. Seeing this, he shouted at the servant and expelled him from the service. Thereafter, he came to his house, took the breakfast, and proceeded in search of the white swan. When he passed his fields, he saw that the labors had not come till then for the work. Though their wages were being paid on time, he got angry and when the labors came, he scolded them. Why do you come so late? I warn you, if you continue coming late, your salaries would be deducted. The workers begged pardon and assured that they would never come late in future. This way, William found out the mismanagement in his own organization. Everywhere people were taking undue advantage of his absence. Now, he made it a routine to take a round of all of his working places, farm, cow shed, house, etc. When his workers came to know that their master visited the workplace every day, they became cautious and began to work seriously. So, the production of both the crops and the milk increased. He became rich again.
Now, he understood why his friend talked about the white swan and about the time of its appearance. This was all planned to keep him active. He went to his friend to thank him. William showed his gratitude to his friend and said, I am thankful to you for making me rich again. His friend Tony said to him, No thank you in friendship. I always want to see you happy. Now you have quit laziness and have become active again. My story of White Swan has become true. Hard labor is the white swan, about which I was telling you. When Tony said this, both friends laughed heartily. Moral Quit laziness and work hard for a grand success in life.